What up y'all, coming at you with another update. This one's on the aquarium today. The uh, mama guppies right there have been uh, busy giving birth as you can see, all them little babies swimming around. You can see they bulging, they're ready to put out another round of babies. They just getting busy. Getting busy like I wish I could, but shit. If I can facilitate, oh, we just saw a shrimp go down and hide. But shit, if I can facilitate, I'm good to go. Got all them baby snails keeping my, uh, oh, look, someone's uh, trying to get some attention. But uh, all these baby snails are getting born. They're keeping my, uh, keeping my glass clean. I had to clean using this little magnetic cleaner one time, once or twice. And after that, everything's been kind of taking care of itself in here. Uh, I'm attempting to simulate a river or a pond uh, and use the microbes inside of this environment to enhance my cannabis plant growth and health. And uh, trying to keep some baby fish happy. They're all over the place, man. We got shrimp, we got scuds, we got guppies snails everybody seems to be thriving pretty well in here right now oh here's, a, here's one of the little guys right there he's he's excited yeah that's probably one of my uh, one of my favorite activities here in the garden oh there's one of the shrimp the Amano shrimps I'm not even sure where he went he's probably just Snacking away at the duckweed up there. It looks like everybody's uh, pretty satisfied. I used to have two koi in here. I moved them into the flowering room instead of my bedroom here. So I got two aquariums. I got one on a little roller cart here. This is this is the main design here. This is what I really want to get set up across the entire room for veg and flowering eventually, but that's someday. And there's there's fish in this one. It's just uh, it's a plastic container instead of a glass one, so it's a lot harder to see through than it is this one. But yeah, so these little fish provide a constant source of uh, my microbes for my plants, which. Uh, increases the nutrient generation inside of these soil uh, these little soil containers these um, cloth pots here and uh, I try to follow kind of the tenets of the living living soil food web but I'm trying to apply that to an aquarium as well so if y'all know anything about what Dr. Elaine Ingham's talking about if anybody else is uh trying to learn from her hit me up and we can have a conversation and uh see if we can expand our knowledge I'm not sure what's going on over here this used to be full of sand something's maybe it's a current moving it around maybe it's a fish i don't know but anywho i'm gonna cut it short for the evening hope y'all enjoyed the update if you like what you see i got more content on youtube uh, andrew's homegrown you can just search that in youtube instagram reddit as well but anywho we'll check y'all later